G'day folks, uh, here I have a damaged and somewhat dysfunctional 24 volt DC motor. Uh, as you can see I've hooked it across my special 60 amp rectifier through the uh, ballast, which is the hot plates, off to the side. And we're going to see if we can pop it. Uh, it's raining at the moment so background noise is going to be uh, a bit of a problem, but let's have a bit of fun. This motor has been oil damaged. The speed reducer that it was attached to leaked down inside and caused some serious arcing and burning. That's what's left of the speed reducer. It's an absolute mess. And the motor has suffered serious damage. That's why I'm killing it. I've also got several others which are in bad shape and several which are in good shape and I'm not going to blow them up. So don't feel too left out if I destroy this one. Trust me, it's worth it. So let's turn on the balance. We start on low hot plate setting. Okay, all the elements are on low and I'm not showing anything. There we go. A little bit of rotation. Volt and amp meters aren't showing anything. Okay. Up In the interest of protecting the camera's CCD, I'm not aiming it straight at the commutator. I don't want to burn it in, but I'll get a bit of an arc going on. A lot faster than it's supposed to. This motor is 600 watts at 2000 RPM and it's still rising without me even doing anything. It's angry. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's only used about one sixteenth of an inch of the brushes, this thing just won't die. It's going bugger all. All that fireworks and it's only used about that much of the brush. That's pretty damn good. Oh well. Let's give it full power now with no ballast. Actually, we'll leave the ballast on and just go straight to uh, maximum. Okay, I think I need to make up a dummy plug and short out that ballast connection box. Let's try that afterwards. <laughs> 